water is life. Wherever water abounds, people prosper and life flourishes. Where water is scarce or brackish, life becomes critical and people stiffly survive. How can poor small breeders feed the sheep flock? How can this camel find here around what to eat? It is a challenging task. Water scarcity is one of the main factors that limit crops and forages productivity in the Arab countries. The region has reached a severe water scarcity level. Arab countries should however face the complex challenge of satisfying the consumption needs of the fastest growing population which already presents 5% of the world population under global warming conditions. In this context, management of both water supply and demand are equally critical. New approaches and policy frameworks, innovative and replicable solutions are essential. The International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, a specialized agency of the United Nations, has accumulated a vast experience in battling water scarcity in the Arab region over the past 30 years through a large number of people focused on innovative agricultural and rural development projects and programs. One of these, the Saving Freshwater Resources, was salt-tolerant forage production in marginal areas of the West Asia and North Africa region, is currently under implementation by the Dubai-based International Centre for Biosaline Agriculture, ICBA. Launched in 2005, the project is now ready to demonstrate a replicable and upscalable innovative way of tackling water scarcity in the region. Improve the livelihoods, resilience to climate change and the incomes of poor farmers who rely on marginal water and land resources. Statistics show a constant increase in the dependence of poor farming households on marginal quality water resources and marginal lands. This is due to the rapidly rising rate of salinity which affects irrigation water and agricultural lands. The project has tested and is working to scaling up and disseminate three high-yielding forage crops production packages better adapted to the marginal environmental conditions, high salinity included. The variety of seeds which was sent to all countries covered by the program included triticle, fodder beet, barley, pearl millet and sorghum, shrubs such as artiplex, acacia and cisbania, and grasses such as sprobilus and other salt grasses. Tested and cultivated under local conditions in the United Arab Emirates, Jordan, Syria, Tunisia, Palestine, Oman, and even Pakistan, all these forage crops have demonstrated their resistance to water high salinity and suitability to grow in abandoned marginal and uncultivable lands. Tested on research plots and on farmer's sites, the selected seeds proved to be highly successful salt tolerant varieties. This is a salty land in Deir ez Zur in northeast Syria. Here we see how forage crops are doing very well. Edibility is equally important. On this farming site of Al Ain University in the United Arab Emirates, camels, cows, sheep and goats are feeding on a type of grass crop, this propolis that was developed by the project. Tests of the edibility and full validity of this variety gave positive results. Who could before imagine that such nutritive forage grass irrigated with highly saline water 
could ever grow in a similar salty land. Iqba has also experimented the use of partially desalinated seawater in the cultivation of crops for human consumption. Date palm production seems to give excellent results. Iqba was created with a sole focus on marginal quality water management. Salinity under the IFAD supported program, ICBA employs modern methods to irrigate forages with different grades of water salinity. Its laboratories carry out precise tests on soil and water samples to better define the adaptability of different water and land qualities. ICBA scientists closely monitor their experiment and work to ensure the success of these trials and the multiplication of experimental plots. Plants are treated with maximum care. Findings, results and feedback from countries covered by the program are regularly discussed during periodical meetings held by ICBA managers, scientists and experts. The outcome delivery systems include training, field demonstrations and awareness building activities and aim to ensure farmers wide-scale adoption. In fact, the overall goal of this innovative program is to grant poor people in the rural zones and marginal areas yet another opportunity to raise their incomes and improve their living conditions. With this and other similar programs, ICBA has indeed built itself a niche in biosaline agriculture worldwide and has become a center of excellence in this field.